Hello, welcome back everyone. Today we are going to see how to do a DIY approach to radon mitigation system. So I want to quickly go through why we need it and what is radon and how useful it is. So just bear with me for a minute here. So radon is one of the radioactive gases that naturally comes from decomposition of um, materials like uh, uranium, uh, polonium and all that from the ground. Don't be scared because it occurs all the time under the ground. The problem is sometimes the house is so sealed up, it traps that air in the house and radon remains in the house and we start breathing it. And once we breathe it, it becomes pretty carcinogenic, which means you know, it causes cancer, lung cancer, and also can cause asthma and other respiratory diseases. So it may sound... I, uh, like something far fetched from the truth, but in reality, it's a second most reason for someone getting a lung cancer other than smoking. So it's something that needs to be uh, treated with a little more seriousness. Almost every house has radon, outdoor has radon, but the level of how much radon matters. So in this case, uh, I'm going to show you how to measure that and how to mitigate that by putting in a system okay here you see a system here uh, at the same time we'll start from the beginning so i've been having some problem a bunch of my family members are having respiratory problems uh, so we figured it's got to be something common you know it's not something unique to me but uh, the whole family so um, <clears throat> i've tested radon before but that didn't get a conclusive result from the lab so uh, i ignored it but then as things got worse I went and got a meter. So here's the first expense. For about $120, you can get this meter. Um, so what this meter does is it, it measures a short term and a long term. There's also another version with a smartphone interface for this particular brand, AirThings. Um, but it's a great meter. It measures long term and short term, every hour or weeks. You know, um, What's important here is this PCI per liter measurement. The PCI per liter measurement is what we use as a standard guide for how much radon is acceptable. The World Health Organization says about 2.7 PCI is plenty acceptable um, and safe for human to be inhaling inside a house. Outside it's about 0.5 uh, which is what you see now um, is the outdoor air. So that's something you need to know about. 2.7 is plenty acceptable the, by World Health Organization. The EPA, on the other hand, says 4 PCI per liter is acceptable. So in the United States, they say up to 4 is acceptable. I would rather uh, go with the smaller number, which is 2.7. So the goal is to get it down below 2.7. So I got this meter for about 120 some bucks and uh, placed it in different parts of the house and I got a reading of over 10 on the basement level. When we go to the first floor where the bedrooms are, the level was uh, five, so it was directly half. So it's above four, above 2.7, definitely. So I really wanted to see if I can put a mitigation system in and that will have any effect on it. So there are two ways you can do mitigation systems. One, if you have a sump pump, which I had in this case, in this house, uh, already in here. The other option is you drill a hole, a four inch hole or a three inch hole in the concrete and then you can do the same thing as well. So one of two options. In my case, I had a sump pump already there. The bigger advantage is the sump pump not only was just pulling water out, but there was a French drain, you know, all sump pumps mostly have that, that runs all the way across on this side and this side of the house on the perimeter of the house, two perimeters. So I know for a fact that if I seal up this particular lid um, in the sump pump well and suck the air from it, it's not only gonna pull the air from here, but from across the foundation. So all, the goal is to go under the foundation, pull the air out and vent it safely outside. So that's our goal and that's what we're gonna do now, um, which is already done. Let me explain how to do it in a DIY manner and save some money. And normally it costs about $2,000 in the United States to put a system by a professional, plus or minus 500. Uh, but you can do all this for under $500. So let's uh, look at the components. So like I said, we need a testing meter that will cost you about 125 bucks. And then we need a lid. 
pretty important. The lid needs to seal the sump pump well. So get a good one. There's uh, plenty of those. These cost about $100 each. Uh, this one in particular I really like because it has a window that you can peek through to see your sump pump. It's going to be sealed permanently, so you need a window to kind of do maintenance in case you need. The other thing I like is this pre-cut holes with 2-inch, 3-inch pipes. You have the system uh, that you need to pick at this point. So you pick the lid, you put it on top, and as you can see, I had to drill a bunch of holes on the concrete to put those screws and put a nice uh, bead of 100% silicon or a good sealant, um, crack-free flexible sealant that goes uh, that adheres to the concrete. So we seal that lid up and then the lid has a lid in it you know uh, an, another lid so it's easy to mount these things separately from mounting that to the floor so once this is done screwed in sealed up we take out of the top lid which comes with these pre-assigned flanges so you can put a two inch pipe one and a half inch pipe and three inch in this case now let me quickly talk about the system sizing so if you have a house about 2,000 square feet it's plenty enough to use a three inch pipe. If you have a house over 2,000 square feet on the basement, um, it's ideal to use a four inch pipe. So that's basic, but there's uh, there's multiple calculations that goes into this to size up the things properly, but use that as a, as a general guide and that should plenty do what you wanna do. So we have the lid on and next thing, we need to suck up the air from here out. This pipe stops here. There's nothing connected underneath. This is the sump pump uh, that's going out. You know, So first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your sump pump is a submersible sump pump, which means it's inside, not the one that's sticking out. Uh, if you have one that's sticking out, it's time to replace that to a submersible so it goes in and everything is sealed up. Everything is sealed up and siliconed, including the wires and everything. So once we seal this up, think uh, in my scenario, all I needed was a 3-inch pipe because the basement is not that big and my reading is only 10. If I have 20 plus PCI per liter, then I would uh, probably do something more. In this case, I just need 3-inch. So 3-inch, Schedule 40, PVC comes up. I used a Flexi, so it's easier to mount that. The key is to put a hole and punch through outside. So, so because it's concrete, created another expense, so I had to buy this bit set, which is about $75, I believe. A nice uh, four inch bit it comes with SDS plus. I had uh, SDS plus drill. If not, it'll be another $70 for you to buy it. Uh, cheaper than renting actually. Um, so once you get that, you know, you drill through the concrete, 10 inches of concrete block. If you have room, you can pipe it out into the rafters. Uh, uh, and go through the wood if that's easier. So now let's go outside and see how the mitigation system works. Here's the outside part of it. So what we saw, the three inch uh, uh, PVC pipe coming out. And here's the main fan. You know, this is what we need to purchase. And this is called a radon mitigation fan. This can take four inch or three inch. I'm using a three inch, so there's a reducer here, as you can see. So in this case, this fan is pretty quiet runs 24 7 so you can see that the fan gets a wire electrical of course you need but then it just pipes in and goes all the way up the code says it has to go above the roof line so that stays above the roof line so uh, simple so three three PVC pipes bunch of uh, couplers like that and a uh, few clamps and then you can just uh, mount it yourself if you know even a little bit handy uh, electrical simple connection just like doing a outlet um, just uh, hook that up with outdoor wire or uh, can't do it like I did here so this system costs about uh, approximately about uh, less than $200 for this 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 and uh, the manometer that you saw inside all right let's go back inside so jumping back in again, so I just want to quickly show the manometer. So this comes with that system with the fan. Um, and as you can see, all this is, is you mount this and you put a little hole on the PVC and you stick this tube in. So that just shows how much uh, bar per inch pressure is constantly running when the fan is on. Okay, uh, just shows that 
it's pushing a little air pressure in there. So you mount this on the vertical stack pipe and we're done. So took about probably four hours straight, I would say, to, to do the whole system. And the cost, like I said, uh, $200 for the fan equipment and uh, $100 for this, $100 for the meter and another $100 for um, the drill bits and uh, other things, PVC pipes, everything $50. So you do the math, somewhere around $500 right there. So it's doable. And the result is, this is where the kicker is, it went from 10 PCI per liter to 0.5 PCI per liter on the basement. Upstairs, the reading went from 5 PCI per liter on the bedrooms to 0.2 Point 0.2, yeah, PCI per liter on the bedrooms, which I feel great, you know, investing a little bit of money, but feels like, you know, cleaned up a whole bunch of uh, radon from escaping into the house. Like I said, this is one way of doing. If you don't have a sump pump, you would drill a pipe, uh, a three inch, four inch hole directly in the concrete and put the system, stick the pipe right in and put the fan and see if it sucks up uh, the radon from under the basement. You may have to do more, uh, in more than one place in that case. So there you have it guys, radon mitigation system for under $500, do it yourself. And I hope uh, this video helps someone, you know, in some way that uh, their respiratory problems may be addressed through putting the system. Thank you.